Hey guys, Stuart here with Striker Trailers. Wanted to shoot a quick video to answer questions about D-rating trailers and non-CDL trailers. We were getting a lot of chats and messages and inquiries saying you are looking for a non-CDL trailer. So let me give you a, um, a quick highlight so that you can then, you know, search for the perfect trailer for your setup. Um, you should know by now, if you've messaged us, the, uh, the Department of Transportation issues the regulations to the states and then the states uh, are charged with enforcing those regulations and they have um, different different requirements in each state for CDL versus non-CDL. So um, there's some great info on YouTube and Facebook, but honestly, there's a lot of misinformation on Facebook and YouTube. So this is your livelihood. If you're going into this for that reason and your business, then I suggest you go straight to the horse's mouth get the um, CDL, non-CDL limitations straight from those uh, federal and state websites, okay? But one thing we know is very, very clear is 26,000 pounds GVWR, gross vehicle weight rating. So if you're looking at one of my trailers, that means you have a 2,500, 3,500 truck, single rear wheel, or maybe a dually. Uh, Ford Chevy Dodge that you are using to tow a uh, trailer you want to make some money a gooseneck trailer uh, 36 40 44 feet something like that and you want to make some money okay so if you're looking for a non CDL setup then the total stickers all right we're, we're not talking what the total weight is yet when you go over scale we're just talking about the stickers the stickers have to equal 26,000 pounds or less the truck and the trailer sticker GVWR needs to equal 26,000 pounds or less. Uh, no need to go less though because that'll limit your payload. So I suggest let's just make it equal 26,000 pounds. Uh, the truck I'm in right now, Ram 2500, this is a 2021. The gross vehicle weight rating is 10,000 pounds. So what should my trailer be rated? It's, it's easy math. Uh, 26,000 minus the truck at 10, leave 16,000 for the trailer. I want a GVWR on my trailer for of 16,000. Okay, let's say you're uh, driving a bigger dually. Uh, some of the Fords have up to 16,000 GVWR. What can your trailer be? Again, it's just simple math. It's just two stickers. Uh, 26,000, that's the requirement, minus your truck. If you're at 16,000, that leaves what for your trailer? 10,000. So when you're looking for a non CDL trailer, okay, we are going to get you into one or we're going to derate a trailer so that the stickers for your truck and your trailer equal 26,000. What does derate mean? Well, derating is just the I, I as a manufacturer will rate the trailer lower than what it could actually hold. So let's say I build a trailer. The I beam, the cross members, the axles, the tires, uh, the weight distribution for the tongue, uh, the weight of the trailer. Let's say I, I build a trailer that I could rate GVWR of 18,000, okay? Let's say that's the trailer that I built and that's the trailer you wanna buy because it's it's beefy, it'll carry anything you wanna carry, etc. cetera. Um, well, derating is if I would derate that sticker down to the 16 or the 14 or the 12 necessary for your combination to be at 26. That's what derating is. And some manufacturers don't do that. The big ones don't do that. They're not set up to do it. We can do it. Just give us a call. Um, we are a manufacturer. We sell direct to you you guys uh, starting your hotshot business or adding a second or third or fourth truck and trailer to your business. So all, you know, just let us know what truck is gonna be pulling the trailer and we will make sure we get the white, right, correct weight rating on that for you. Um, payload, that's a different video, different math, um, depends on different things. But when you're shopping for your trailer, you want that combination to equal 26,000 pounds gross vehicle weight rating, and we can help you with that. So um, give us a call, give us a chat. We're here to help. Stay safe out there, and good luck.